Hey, this is Swedish Guitar Nerd, and today I'm joined and really honored uh, to have uh, Danielle from In The Pop Legends, the wedding present here, to talk about her gear. Well, you don't have your guitar here. I'm going to put a picture of it in here. So can you tell us a bit about your guitar? Start. Guitar? So uh, I use a Telecaster. Um, it's, uh, I think it's, a, it's an American Fender Tele. Not a particularly expensive one, but it's lovely. I love it. I love the feel of it, the tone of it. It's, yeah. is, is there like a preference you have for Telecaster? Is there, what, what are you searching for that you find in a Telecaster that makes you choose? I like the feel of a telly. I find with straps, uh, actually I don't really like the layout of the body with the straps. Oh, I find okay. that the um, volume and tone controls oh, kind of okay. get in the way of my playing. Oh really? Yeah. Um, I find, I like jags. I just haven't got around to getting one yet. Um, so yeah, I've just always been a telly person really. Oh. And I, I like the maple neck. Oh, yeah. I just like yeah. the feel of it in my hands. I've only got little hands so... Yeah. It's uh, quite nice. It's, it's kind of a small hands. guitar as a whole, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so it's yeah, it just feels right. Okay, let's talk about your amp because that's right here. Ah, yes. What do you want to say about that one? Well, I must admit, actually, these are David's amps. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> this is very much the wedding present sound. These uh, fenders. So um, uh, guitarists before have come in and used their own amps, but I actually kind of really like this sound, and it goes with. David's because he uses two of these we've got them on slightly different settings so they don't uh, sort of you know they mix nicely together okay. um, so what, what's your, is there a clean sound you have with the amp or is it yeah I mean uh, the the amp itself is always on clean and then all the distortion comes through my oh, okay. pedals yeah, yeah. Um, my amp settings tend to have a bit more bass end, I think, okay. if I'm right, and then David's is more of the high end because okay. he's got more of the kind of thrashy yeah. sounds yeah, yeah. Yeah, that yeah, go yeah. on. So, yeah, yeah, that's that. I should mention that Danielle is, of course, the lead guitar player. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, let's talk about your pedals. So, pedals. Those caught my eye. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, generally, with wedding present songs, uh, I need, or any of the guitarists need, about three levels of distortion. Okay, yeah. So um, your first one is usually just kind of not too far above the level yeah. of your clean in volume, but mm. it's just got that little bit of a distortion okay. tone to a it. bit of hair to it. Yeah. yeah, and then you kind of boost that one up again to like a mm. middle sound, and then you've got your big, meaty sound um, for, you know, your beginnings of corduroy or broken okay. bow, yeah, things exactly, like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I've got the Full Drive 3 by Full Tone, mm -hmm. uh, which I really like because I like the fact that it's got the boost on it. Yeah. So is I've that like the, the main or the, the first stage of gain and then you add the boost on that one? Yeah, so yeah. the boost is like the second gain. I think it takes up by about 15 decibels or something okay, like yeah, that. Yeah. Um, so because I did used to have three pedals. Mm. Uh, but the only problem with that is you've got lots of feedback sometimes going in between one and two, whereas with that boost, you've got a lot more control over it. Oh, okay. um, and also, the good thing about this one is that the, the boost, uh, the, the clean and the distortion can be boosted individually. Oh, really? So you can have the boost either on before or after the distortion. So if you mm -hmm. want to boost a clean sound, you can also do that. Okay. So how do you do it? Uh, well, actually, I have it on just to boost the distortion because mm. there's not that much in the way of clean mm. in the wedding present. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. oh. um, and it's got a nice little toggle that um, you can go between like a 90s mid-range sound mm. and like a, um, a wider sort of asymmetrical sound that picks up the highs and the lows. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I actually have it on the kind of the setting that takes all of the sounds and it's just kind of quite kind of like an aggressive sound which I quite like and it's just when you put the boost on then it mm. really kicks up oh, okay. which is really nice yeah. so I've got it on that so do you use that within the songs or is it like when you do the lead parts or is it all, on all the time or how does you well it tends to be a lot of the songs are on the first level mm -hmm. if I do little lead bits they tend to go up to the second level um, but songs like Kennedy Brass Neck, they they're on the second level straight away, oh, okay, just because yeah, they're kind yeah. of okay. like the louder yeah. ones. Right. Um, yeah. So, and then I've got my third pedal, which is mm. the big 
Beastie Monster Pedal, yes. which is the JS, JHS at pedal, yes. which um, it's it's a, a pedal designed by this guy called Andy Timmons, yeah, this exactly. American guitarist. It used to be he, in Danger Danger, it doesn't talk yeah. about that anymore. Yeah, <laughs> so he had the Angry Charlie, I think. Yeah, I thought that was the Angry Charlie. Well, this is his kind of modification okay, of it, so he yeah. basically had that and then wanted to change it for his own sound. Oh. Um, and what I like about that, I mean, it was one of those pedals where you plug it in and you play and you think, yes, this, I have to have <laughs> yeah. this. It's just so beefy. That's yeah. got another toggle on it where you can go between 25, 50 and 100 watts. Yeah. I always have it on 100. Okay. So it's just like the biggest <laughs> But sound. that's supposed to like model uh, Marshall amp or something like that. Yeah, because really you get that really, it's, it's really beefy, but it's nice yeah. that you've got this um, air control. Okay. that you can bring in the highs a bit so you can have it really distorted but it's still got a little bit of clarity to it um, which is quite nice uh, so yeah and it's it's one of those pedals that I want to just put on all the time but okay. you just have to kind of <laughs> pick and choose your moments when to put it on but do you use that alone or with the full drive? Yeah, I mean, actually I have the two on together though oh, to be honest the JHS, the JHS kind of like takes over if i take the full drive out of the equation it doesn't mm. adjust the sound that much because okay, really. sometimes it's easier for me just to kind of yeah. plonk them on one two Step three on one pedal, yeah. Yeah. yeah um otherwise i'm having to do some little <laughs> side steps and my, my feet aren't quite big enough to get all three of them but yeah that's yeah. that's my little yeah watch jss jhs uh, youtube channel by the way joshua yeah. is really funny yeah super really funny good. yeah i love that pedal Okay, and yeah. finally you have a small one. On the oh side. yeah, that's just my little reverb. Yeah? It's just like a little, I mean, we don't use reverb all the time, but there's a few songs in the set at the moment where it suits. So, because um, we're touring Bizarro at the moment, there's a song called No, where mm. the uh, the kind of little arpeggiated chord bits I find sound nice if they've got a little bit of distortion and just a touch of reverb on. Oh, yeah. um, and there's a song called Palisades and Bewitched, obviously, mm is nice with the reverb on it so i just picked that one up it's just a little copy of a a, a blue sky is it i think mm. um so they're not that expensive but i do quite like the moors mm. they're sort of nice just to if you want to try a sound mm. um they're yeah, all smooth. they're all kind of copies of really classic yeah, pedals exactly. and they're like 50 60 quid yeah, you know yeah. um can't go wrong so, yeah, yeah exactly so that's just a touch of reverb is it like yeah, yeah okay. just a little, little touch of reverb on top of it. Oh. yeah Great. Uh, do you have any, any preferences when it comes to strings and picks? Uh, yes, picks I use. Where are they? These, the Tortex Dunlop. Hmm? I like the are 88s. They, okay, yeah. So, so um, not super thick and not super thin either. No, it's still got that slight bit of give in it. Hmm? But not too thick. I, hmm? uh, when I was on bass, I was using the one millimeter ones. Okay, we do. And uh, when I moved on to guitar, I thought, nah, it's okay. too much. Yeah. So I, I went down to these. Have to give a bit. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, I like these. I know a lot of people get the uh, the Dunlops with the little grippy bits yeah, here, yeah, but yeah. I kind of like the feel of these yeah, ones. Yeah. So yeah, I always go with those. Yeah. And um, strings, we use slinkies. Yeah. So tens, tens I use okay, on mine. Yeah. And yeah. you're in standard tuning, it's nothing. Yeah, standard you're tuning. You don't have any strings. I think Dave has some strange tunings. David has some don't. different tunings. Okay. Yeah, mine always, uh, occasionally it's a drop D, but uh, yeah. mostly it's all just okay. standard tunings. Oh, yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. That's all thank right. you so much. Thank you. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Bye.